Hey, what is going on guys? It's your boy Crane here, bringing you more Ragnarok Online Rebirth with Crane. And as you can see on my screen right now, I'm on an Abbey party. This is the first party I'm going to be showing uh, on video. And I just wanted to do it because I'm level 91 right now and I, sh I actually lost a recording last time I recorded. I mean, not last time, last time was at the Paris party that I did a montage of. Um, last time, uh, I made this little hat I have right now, the Shroffery hat. And I made a video of me just getting it and it didn't record and it sucked. But it's fine right now, uh, I think it should be fine with the video and the sound. It's a little bit hard to concentrate on doing what I have to do in my party to succeed and also try and play at the same time and talk at the same time. It's a little bit hard. Anyways, uh, think about these parties. You, If you're a clown, you gotta braggy every 2 seconds, so I gotta stay close to the High Wizard and the High Priests. Because those are, those are the casters who are gonna be doing most of the killing. We're gonna be gaining shared experience uh, depending on the monsters we kill. And it's gonna be great, so I'm just gonna have a chill time. I'm probably just gonna do a montage of this once again, but this time with commentary. So I'm just gonna throw it away to random parts, interesting parts, obviously. I'm not gonna have like a 40 minute recording session of me just going around Abbey, just trying to kill everything. So as you can see, uh, High Wizards and High Priests, extremely overpowered when it comes to Abbey Dungeon. They really are. I'm gonna stay close to both of them and braggy both of them, because braggy what it's gonna do is it's gonna reduce the casting time for both of them, and it's gonna reduce the after delay of every skill, so they're gonna be able to cast Storm Gust way uh, in rapid succession, and they're gonna be able to cast Magnus Exorcism still in rapid succession, so it's gonna be great. And we are gonna level up quite a bunch, so I'm, hopefully I'm gonna be able to get to at least level 93 out of this. Uh, that is huge considering I'm a, I'm a transcendental class, which is great. But yeah, it's gonna be great. We're also gonna be getting some extremely good items here, some high tier items, uh, like Wolf Scarf, Tidal Shoot, stuff like that. Uh, by the way, this is Abbey Dungeon level 1. Uh, what are we gonna be what we're gonna be looking for is going into Abbey Dungeon level 3. Oh my god, that thing Sonic loads me. That sucks. Anyways, uh, I do have 99 points on beat right now, that's what you gotta have. These are my stats right now. I got 31 on strength just to be able to carry items without being overweight. I got like 80 in 4 DSP because I'm gonna be casting a lot of form braggy. And I have a lot of points on vitality just so I survive, so I'm, I think I'm just gonna show the walk to level 3, uh, see how we do, and then I'm just gonna cut around to random parts of the, the farming, maybe if we find Belzebub, or we're killing like a bunch of necromancers or something like that, maybe if, when I get a level stuff, it's gonna be a lot of editing, but I think it's gonna be fine, Sonic load, okay, never mind. I died, that's completely fine, uh, that's why we have priests, priests can resurrect you, there's no problem, why do I have a bow, okay. Uh, one thing you gotta learn if you're playing as a clown, by the way, you gotta be able to play songs and change your weapon at the same time. So if you play a song, you change your weapon to cancel the song, and then you just uh, put back your guitar and cast the song once again using Encore, so it uh, takes only half as much of that. Half as much uh, speed. So yeah, it's kinda hard to play and talk at the same time, but I think my commentary is gonna be good enough. That is gonna be interesting to watch, and I think this is way more interesting than just watching a normal playthrough, or just like me farming around in, say, Gornman Dungeon or something like that. Or stings. I hate stings really badly. Anyways, hopefully I won't be pressing F10 too much, because that would stop the recording, and that, that has happened a couple of times, actually. So down we are to level 2, we're just gonna kill this Banshee right here. Banshees are annoying, because they have Dark Souls, so if you have, um, if you have uh, an Evil Druid card or a Banshee card, you are immune to Dark Souls strikes, so don't even, don't even need to worry about it. That's a great card to have if you're going into Abbey Dungeon. Because almost everything here is either Shadow or Undead, so they will be doing like no damage to you, even though the normal attacks are neutral attacks, so you won't be getting any resistance to those unless you have a Ghost String card, I think. So, I don't really, I don't know why we're taking this route. I think this might be the faster attack. Why do I have my... My guitar, my Oriental Loot keeps uh not... Oh, I, I don't know what I'm saying, man. I really don't. Alright, let's... We're moving a little bit fast, so I'm not gonna be able to use my ensembles with the... With the dancer. But she is gonna use her dances to give more benefits to the team, just like I am. I'm doing it for casting time for the Wizard and the, the High Priest, and she's doing it for SP with the service for you. She gives more SP, like, kinda like Apple of Island gives more HP. Magnificent is what he's asking for. That is gonna give him a lot of... Uh, freaking SP regeneration because we should do spend a lot of SP. Uh, I think this guy is like fully geared, so he might have a gag card. If he does, then there's no worry. There's nothing to worry about. Okay, gotta bracket these guys real quick because it only lasts 20 seconds once they leave the um, 
the thing. I think we have a killing high priest. And we have where's the wizard? I gotta stay close to the wizard, man. Uh on the middle of this recording, I just wanted to show you guys how this looks with all the effects on, but I might turn off effects after this a little bit because uh effects are a little bit distracting and I want to keep my ass close to this wizard so I can brag him every two fucking seconds. Or I'm also gonna stay close to the high priest too. That's what we gotta do. Such braggy, very strong. Anyways, if you're a clown, that's basically what you have to do. You still gotta stay close to the casters and cast Braggy as, as, as fast as you can and as constant as you can, I guess. I don't even know how to say that word, man. Anyways, there are a, bottle, uh, a lot of loot. Normally, if you're in a party like this and you're going for items, you wanna have a greeter. Uh, that is a, a blacksmith or a whitesmith. But we don't have a greeter right now because we don't care about the items. I think we're just going for the freaking things. The experience. So as you can see, I'm already 86.8% up to level 92. I started at like level 75, so this is not going slow whatsoever. And this level is the one that gives you the most experience because this one has the necromancers, and it has a bunch of necromancers. And necromancers, they uh, they're not that strong, and they give a bunch of experience. So you do want to be getting that real quick. Uh, we have a sniper. The sniper is gonna help by killing, and he's also gonna be uh, shooting, freaking sharp shooting. And he's gonna be wind walking so we can move faster. So that's his role. Uh, Dancer is gonna, just gonna give his speed to people. Uh, high Priest, there's a support one. And there is um, a killing one. And uh, we have Braggy for casting time. And the Wizard just to kill absolutely everything in the world. Basically. There we go. This is also where you do the, the King killing quest I did for the Ave Entrance Dungeon. I just had a, a really strong priest that was helping me do stuff. Where's the, uh, the wizard at? I need to stay close to Having a killing wizard and a killing a high priest is really good, by the way, for this. You kill stuff so quick, it's not even funny. Up to 90% already, so this is going great. This is going so good. You don't even know, man. I might have... I, have, uh, I can't speak. This is too hard. I might have to stop talking for a little bit, or just talk a little bit slower, or a little bit less. My commentary is not going to be that great on the party, but this does require a lot of concentration. I do have to keep in mind that I got a party, or basically everyone in the party, right? Because I got a party, I got a Braggy, the High Wizard for his casting spells, uh, the Battle Priest for the Magnus Exorcismus. I got a Braggy, the Support Priest for Assumption and uh, Magnificent, and I got a Braggy, the, the freaking Sniper for Sharp Shooting, so I do want to do that, I do want to do that. I gotta stay close to the party, close to the party, close to the party. Uh, if I was a little bit better at being a clown and she was a little bit better at being a gypsy, I could just do ensembles and maybe play Mr. Rich Man, Mr. Kima Rich Man, in order to be able to uh, get more experience. It does give you one and 180% more experience. And the reason why I don't want to be doing that is because I don't want to be switching songs too much. And I do not want to go ahead and. Uh, not braggy anyone, so the risk about playing more than one song at the same time, or an ensemble and a song for that matter, is that you don't braggy people nearly as much as you would if you were just playing braggy. So people might not have braggy all the time, which is not what you want. You want them to have braggy absolutely all the time. That is exactly what you want. Alright then. Uh, that gypsy should really not be Vulcaning because Vulcan does nothing to these things. And yeah, it's not really that good of a strategy, to be honest. Vulcanine is nice, I like that skill for farming by myself, but if you're on a party, you should focus just on support, on pure support, if you're going this class, or this type of classes. Gypsy and Clown are the same class, just masculine and feminine, and they do have different skills, and they're completely different, for that matter, but they are the same uh, bard and dancer class. It's the only class that's divided by gender, that I know of, at least. I don't know how about, I don't know about renewal, I think the battle piece is going to be able to handle that one guy. I do have some grape juice in order to heal my SP if I can't regen it quite as quick because I do not have a gag card. I need to get one of those actually for this kind of stuff. Alright, this Tungus is getting on my nerves, man. I can't see shit. Gotta stick to the High Wizard. This is the most important part. Battle Priest and High Wizard I gotta stay with. Most important part, as I said. I don't think I'm gonna be able... I'm gonna have to use any grape juice because I'm almost level 92 already. And when you, once you level up, you gain all your, on your SP back. And your HP too, but I really haven't gotten hit. And we have two priests, two high priests in the party, so it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, this high wizard is actually really nice for coming with us because he's already level 99, so he doesn't have to do this. But I, I guess it's just fun for him, I guess. I guess, I guess, I guess. There you go, that's level 92, I'm almost dead. Not almost dead, quite dead. 
Alright, let's use... Oh my god, that, that's a little bit scary. That's a lot of necromancers. That sucks. Anyways, I'm gonna need some resu here. Uh, Priest is gonna handle that. There you go. There's that. Uh, wizard, wizard, wizard. Wizard is up here, I believe. I wanna be... Oh, wait a, wait a fucking second. I have this map all turned around. God damn it. Go up, get close. The wizard necromancer on me. Help me. Just kill it. You have Magnus Exorcism, you bitch. Or maybe she doesn't. Let's not get wiped here, shall we, guys? That'll be bad. Alright, someone rest the priest so she can heal me. Come on now. I got confused. That was my fault. I actually got confused because of the map. Anyways, I should be playing uh, my Pormo Bragi here because we're all bunched up together. So that's always good. Uh, problem with Mr. Kima Rich, man, the, the ensemble that gives you more experience, 180% more experience, is that it's actually... You have to be next to the Gypsy for one thing. And it only gives you the experience if the monsters are sending on the Arrow Effect, which is not the case almost never on this, uh, on this party right here. Maybe it would work on a Tor party. On a Tor party, that would be actually one great skill to do. But on a Nabe party, I don't know. I don't know if that would work. Maybe Juperos too. Juperos could work too. Then again, in Juperos everything dies so quick. You probably won't have to... You use too much of the skill. Or to use it... For longer. I don't know. You don't, you won't have enough time, that's what I'm trying to say. Holy shit, I should shut up when I'm here. Alright, because they close the high vision. Uh, the 20 second has almost passed, so I gotta... Gotta do something, man. Come on. Come on, let me get close to you. He's moving too quick. Just give me the chance. There you go. Alright, that's that. I should actually auto-follow him, but I don't want to do that because I also want to be bragging the uh, high priest. But if you're only if you're only bragging one person on the team, you want to be auto-following them. The The way you do that is you shift right-click them with uh, your slash NC off. So you, your knock control should be off, and you should be just... Oh my god, that guy. Okay, uh, Let's run. Oh, that... Girl's dead. I don't have any... One thing I fucked up doing is I didn't bring any wings, so that sucks. Ooh, what do I want to put my points on, though? Maybe I just want to go... I just want to go in right now, because I need more speed, right? Alright, then. Raggy the whole party, as I said once again. Way to do things, man. Way to do things. You gotta pay attention. Pay attention. Energy cost is good gonna protect him from those nasty ass heavens drives and quagmires. I can stay close to him. That's a quagmire right there, I don't wanna step on that. You're gonna macro your skills very well if you're playing a clown. Uh hello. Kill this thing! Alright, we're waiting for the party I guess. Good. Good good. I love this BGM, by the way. This background music is the greatest thing that's ever happened to me, basically. Really good for experience, this place is. It's really good for experience. I'm not gonna be showing all the my Abbey parties, because I think it would be a little bit repetitive for me to show all the Abbey parties. I am gonna be leveling up here quite a bit, because it is the easiest part to level up. And uh, it's also the most common party spot. So, oh, someone killed that wizard. Yes, there you go. That's what a sport priest should be doing, just looking up for buffs and heal, healing the the casters. Oh god damn it, that thunderstorm is really strong man. That's not, that thunderstorm is so OP. Someone heal me, there you go, tank 3. That's another one, that's another thing you want to be doing, either, either you're playing battle priest or uh, sport priest, you want to be tossing sentries like it's nobody's business up there. Alright, so blue herd priest is the one that's a uh, battle. Maybe they're both battle, I don't know. Maybe they're mixed. Hybrid is not something I like to do though. I like to go either full support or full damage. I don't like to mix, mix those kinds of things. Those kinds of things. Either way, I want to be looking into getting a battery card for Abbey Dungeon, just so I can look into getting what I want. Oh my god, I died. That sucks. Anyways, let's sing once more. People like my singing, man. I don't have my guitar on. I died when I was switching weapons, that's why I didn't equip, so... Wanna keep note on that. Alright, the, the Hunter's not really doing much, but I think we're helping him level up, because I think he's friends with someone on the party. We're helping him level up. Uh, hunters are a, real, a little bit useless in Abbey parties. 
because they only have single target skills, they don't really have area of effect skills, and you want to be mobbing here, so not really that useful, to be completely honest with you. But yeah, that's basically the gist of it, you just want to be doing this for a little bit, and I guess I'm going to stop the recording until I find something interesting to do. If I do find something interesting, uh, then I'm going to start the recording back up, or maybe I saw just a little bit of the end of the party, and that'll be great. So I'll see you guys in uh, a second for you, a couple of minutes for me. See you guys later. So here's what I find really funny about this kind of parties. You could probably do this just with a wizard, a high priest, and a clown. Then again, you get all these people to party with you. And I don't really like... Oh my god, that, that, that. the wizard is dead. The wizard is dead. <laughs> oh god, I'm really glad you guys got to see that. The wizard hadn't died, maybe only once or twice. I keep picking up these rods and no one... I mean, I never get one. People always get them because I pick them up, that sucks. Anyways, I'm playing a clown and I'm also playing greeter right now. I'm picking up all the important items. If they drop a rod, a sword, a dagger, stuff like that, I just pick it up. Because uh, those things can be sold for like 200 or 300k. They're not nothing to sneeze at, really, so... Uh, where's my... Wizard, there you go. Wizard of Oz, come. There you go. Anyways, I am gonna stop the recording once again, I'll be back once I have something cool to say or anything interesting. I'm almost level 93 by the way, so we're not doing half bad. I'll be back a little later. Alright, so I'm really close to leveling up. I think I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna show the video until I level up and then once, then once I level up, I think I'll leave the party. And that's gonna be it for this session because level 93 is my objective for this. That's what I wanted to get. Also, basically half my party left, so all we have right now is a high wizard, a high priest and... Uh, this hunter right here, which is not doing basically any- oh my god, that's not good. Well, he's not doing anything, and the dance is not really that useful, so it's basically just me, uh, the high wizard and the high priest, and they're doing most of the job, so. For an Abbey party, you don't really need that many people, as I was saying earlier, so. Yeah, not really that big of a deal if you don't have that many people. You're gonna be fine either way. I mean, it is a little bit harder not having two high priests. You normally wanna- oh, I'm probably gonna die here. Uh, yeah, you wanna have at least two normal. Just so you can be comfortable, because if you if you get wiped, you're fucking you're done. I got a rod. That's the first rod I got. <laughs> Thank God, man. Thank God. Rods are really common, by the way. It's not like it's a rare item, but it does sell for a fair bit. I mean, it's not it's not bad to sell. That's what I'm trying to say. Do I have any magnifiers? I do, but I don't have time to use them right now because I gotta stay close to the high wizard. Oh, I died. That's awesome. Oh well. I really need increased agility. Let me... There you go. Thank you. It's like she listens to me. It's like she listens to me. Because increased agility is gonna not only help me survive, but it... I need to brag you. But it's also gonna... Um, allow me to stay close to the high wish a little bit easier. Because he is moving pretty quick. I think he has either Slefnir's or movement to choose. And uh, it's kind of hard to keep up with him. But I, I can manage. No problem. Right. Turn around, braggy you, braggy the high priest. What the fuck is the high priest? There she is. Bro. Oh, that sucks. Oh, the hunter died. Now I need healing. Alright, we're close to uh, 97%. That's not bad. Then after that, it's just the last levels, and we're gonna be. Why is your casting time so slow for Sanctuary? That's. That just don't make no sense. I'm bragging you, like. As soon as I can. It's weird. Does Sanctuary have like a no? Sanctuary doesn't have a set casting time, I don't think. So. I don't see why she would be casting that so slow. Now let's follow the wizard. That's what we want to be doing right now. So, oh, where's the high priest? There's it. Braggy, you too. Braggy, 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 brag all the way to hell, man. That's all we gotta do. All I gotta do. Uh, all I gotta do. All I wanna do is dance, dance. I'm gonna get a copyright strike from fucking Mark Doon. And it's gonna suck, basically. Alright, this is the safe spot of Avi Dungeon. This is where you go if you wanna get leeched. I do not wanna get slid. I do not wanna get leeched. Leeching is boring in my opinion. If you like it, that's your opinion, but I don't like it, so. I don't wanna be fucking with that. Uh, okay. So we lost the dancer, that sucks. Oh, the gypsy that is. Yeah, she's in safe spot right now. We lost the gypsy, that's fine. It's not that it's not like she's doing much really. I I died, that sucks. Every time you die you lose one percent, so you don't wanna be dying too much. But I am. I'm dying a lot because I'm playing carelessly. 
since I'm lagging a little bit and I'm also talking at the same time, so yeah. Oh god. Oh god, okay, I guess we're having a bathroom break. I'll be back once we go back. What's my comeback, I should say? Alright, so we're back. Uh, apparently we lost the hunter and the gypsy, so we're not gonna be having too much of fun. And this is gonna show you perfectly how a high wizard, a braggy, and a high priest can just do the job. I'm just gonna ask for Aji because I actually need that pretty much to keep up. Because they're way faster than I am. And I'm also lagging a little bit, so that sucks. I should be fine now though. Not having Windwalk is actually a big deal because I cannot keep up without Windwalk. So yeah, I'm only gonna level up until I'm level 93 anyway, so this is not like it's gonna be a long time. It's only 3%, I should be getting that in the next minute or so. So yeah, this is gonna show you that though, that you don't really need that many people to go into into Abbey Dungeon if you actually have a little bit of gear. So yeah, that's gonna help a lot, actually. It should work anyways. Shouldn't be too long until I hit level 93. And once I hit level 93, I'll just go farm. My Super Bird card, the Super Bird cards, because it actually got a plus 7 cello that I want to put Super Bird cards on. Those give plus 35 uh, attack. It's not quite an Incarnation Samurai card, but it is a really good card, and I do want to put it on my cello just so I can hit a little bit harder for normal mobs. I should actually just put uh, freaking uh, Skeleton Workers on it, but Skeleton Workers 1 are more expensive, and 2 only work on freaking uh, medium sized monsters and I want to be hitting large sized monsters too and small sized monsters as well so that is not going to be nearly as helpful as the secret bird cards even if it's going to give me a little bit less damage against medium sized monsters it's also going to help me against all other types so that works plus 7 cello is actually a really hard weapon to get I got it because I bought it for, for 2 million seni wasn't really that cheap but it wasn't really expensive at all either way it's hard to get if you're trying to farm it because they're dropped by tatachas we are a hard enough monster to kill and they only drop on 0.3% of the occasions, so not really the greatest, in my opinion at least. We're almost up to level 93, so that's great. Oh, come on now. That Stormghost is so OP, man. Stormghost with Brag is the greatest thing ever because it has, like, no after effect cooldown. Or after delay, I should say. So it's amazing. And you can cast it as many times, and it hits monsters a lot. And the reason why it works in here is because it doesn't freeze the enemies. The only monster it freezes right here is the Banshees, because the Banshees are not on that type, but on deaths do not freeze, so that's great. Now I hit level 93, so I guess that is gonna be it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this Abbey party. I'm gonna be having some more parties in the future. I'm gonna be having some more events, hopefully. Maybe some guild events, maybe on the Sour, stuff like that. You can look forward to that. I don't think I'm gonna be doing any PV PvP anytime soon, but I really do hope you guys enjoy it, so I'll see you guys later.